Addressing poverty has remained the actual issue in Savanakhet and Vientiane province in the next five years, while the high-level leaders of the party have stressed for the provincial leaders to realize the plans which were raised by the newly elected executive committees of the party organs of the two provinces at their congresses, which concluded on Friday. In Savanakhet province, the province governor, Dr. Supan Keo Misai, was re-elected as secretary of the party organ's executive committee, which comprises 39 members, while there are 13 members of standing committee. The deputy secretaries are Dr. Kampoi Pantachon, Santipa Pongvihan, and Vongpit Sai Sengwon. The new leaders of the party organ have set a target for the provincial economy to grow by between 11.5 and 12 percent per year in the next five years, while agriculture shall be grown by between 7 and 75 percent per year and have some 27 to 28.8 percent share of GDP. In his address at the Congress, Vice President Bunyang Vorajit praised the economic achievements of the province under the provincial party leadership, with the growth reaching 12.4% per year, while income per capita hit 1,785 US dollar per year. However, he said despite the achievements, many people in these rural areas of revolutionary strongholds were living in serious poverty compared with the people living in urban areas. Therefore, the actual and fundamental mandate that the local party leaders to address the remaining poor populations remain unfulfilled. In Vientiane province, the new party organ's executive committee comprises 33 members, with the provincial deputy governor Vidong Sayeson elected as its secretary, while deputy governor Madame Singkam Kong Savan and director of the provincial state inspection department Bunpeng Sai Noladi were elected as the board's secretaries. The deputy secretary is Brigadier General Sidalo Jong Teng Chiesa who was the deputy secretary of the party organ of the previous Congress, and the party organ's inspection head is Vinat Si Suwong. In his address at the meeting, the party central committee's organizational committee head, Chan Si Po Si Kam, agreed on the plan. However, he called on the new party committee to review it, again for identifying the strengths and weaknesses in the guidance of the party committee at each level, and to close the loopholes that enemies could seize in slandering the new regime. Poverty alleviation focusing on the people in rural areas and restriction of unregulated slash and burn cultivation activities among the calls made by Jan Si Po Si Kam on the provincial party committee. The new party executive committee has set a long-term plan to 2030 which has a central focus on realizing the renovation policy along with the implementation of the four breakthrough approaches by improving the party's guidance capability and enhancing the capacity of state governance by the rule of law. The promotion of people's ownership and protection of the basic rights of citizens and their obligations are assured which were also in the direction of the newly elected party committee of the province.